How's it going guys? I hope you guys are having an amazing day. I'm in the city of Bronzeville, Texas. Today I'm gonna eat dinner at a restaurant called Kuyashi Ramen. Now just like the name, they serve ramen. That's their main thing. What makes it uh, unique is that we're in a border town and uh, we're not used to this type of uh, cuisine. I mean we have Asian food but we've never had, I mean not that I recall, we've never had uh, ramen here in Bronzeville, Texas. The address of this place is 1237 East Adams Street and it's right in between the old bus station and also the new bus station so I mean it's easy to find. It's here in downtown. The hours of operation are from Wednesday to Sunday from 5 p.m. to 10 p.m. This place gets packed because it's really good. Try to get here early and if not you're gonna be waiting in line because a lot of people eat here. Now another thing if you haven't done so, don't forget to like and subscribe. That's going to help a lot. And like always, I'm going to go in there. I'm going to check it out. And let's go see what's for chow. Japanese ramen. So what it is is the traditional ramen uh, added on top is lamb birria and then of course with our traditional white uh, onion and cilantro. What about the chile de arbol? The perfect blend of savory and it has a lot of flavor in all honesty the flavor of the tonkotsu masks all the spices. And what's the classic? So to show you um, it, it does have mushrooms on top so in all honesty I feel like that's what gives it the you know that kick of flavor? Thank you, Brianna, yes, for, uh, for the time. Yes, of course. I'll be right back. And the food is ready. All right, so I got three different ramen plates. Uh, I got the birria, chile de arbol, and the shoyu on kotsu. So that's the classic here. They also got me a uh, aguachile negro. It has raw tuna, it has mandarin, it has uh, lime juice, and it looks really good. I'm gonna try this first. I'm gonna get a piece. Let's get some chow. Mm. Super soft. I'm gonna try it out with, with the mandarin. Let's get some chow. Perfect combination again with the sesame oil, the wontons, and uh, the mandarin and the uh, avocado. Let's move on to the to the ramen. Next dish is a shoyu uh, ramen. Bonkotsu chitai shoyu. Brown onion oil, pork, chashu, akitama, scallions, and menama. I'm gonna taste the broth first. Pretty good. Let's get some chow. It is hard for me to explain, but uh, it has a good flavor. Kind of like sweet. Thing. The pork is sweet, kind of like barbecue chicken. It's soft again, uh, caramelized the pork, and uh, it has a good flavor. All right, the next dish is the uh, chile de arbol, tankatsu, miso, chile de arbol, pork, chashu, uh, ajitama, cebolla asada, and corns and cilantro. It's kind of like a fusion of uh, Mexican slash Japanese. And I'm gonna mix it up. Get some chow. This one is delicious, spicy because of the chile de arbol. If you're a fan of ramen, just imagine uh, having a Japanese style ramen with uh, Mexican style. Now I'm gonna try to get the grilled onions with the ramen and the corn. Mm. Excellent combination. I'm gonna move on to the birria. Now that one's interesting. Let's try it out. Next dish, the birria ramen. You can see the birria, the onions. Now I'm gonna try to get a little bit of everything. Birria with a little bit of ramen. Let's get some chow. The birria has a lot of flavor. Whoever did the birria they did a good job. Like if you want to eat the birria by itself, you get a tortilla right now. You can make you can make a taco, and uh, you guys are gonna love it. I mean the combination with the ramen and the birria. I mean, it's just different. I mean, I highly recommend it if you guys come here. You guys need to try the 
the birria ramen. That was a for Kuyashi ramen. The food is delicious. I highly recommend it. My favorite was the chile de arbol ramen. Something about the corn, the grilled onion, and the chile de arbol. And again, don't forget to like and subscribe. Stand by, stand by, more videos in the making. Thank you.